welcome back. It is the Vegas Take Sharp and Shapiro. You know, I kind of like the idea of having the rest of the day off, JD. I kind of like the idea of, of uh, not that not to say that I won't be doing show prep throughout the day. Me and C1 will have our eyes glued to CNN. We right, all know right, that. Right. All we'll day be, long. We'll be it's watching. 24-7 with you. We'll be JD's watching. JD's favorite, Don Lemon, is going to be in full focus. Well, I, I happen to be more of a Chris Cuomo fan myself. Hey, as long but... as I can see Chris Cuomo's nose hairs because it's so close to the screen, I'm happy. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Well, this guy's going to be joining us from time to time, and he's been on our show before. That would be Lee Goldberg from the GCI guys at Realty One Group. Uh, Lee, thank you so much for coming in studio. I appreciate it. I'm so happy to be here, and congratulations. A mazel tov, a hearty mazel tov to, you, mazel to tov. your first show, guys. Muscle it's tough. not even the first show, but it's the first show of new greatness that is going to come right. with the Vegas take. So I, I'm so happy to be how, here. Look at how nice he is to me. You know, uh, so I he like was it. getting, he was getting, I hate to use the term escorted. It's weird. Like you need security, but Lee was escorted up to the studio because they just can't let any uh, creep come in here, right. you know, and, and, and be on the air Especially with us. Especially with this show yeah, because yeah. Uh, Brian Shapiro would yeah. need to be wearing a bulletproof vest every day. But. Probably. Or a mask, something along those lines. But apparently uh, a nice lady <laughs> escorted him up to the studio and Lee looks at me and he's like, yeah, this lady, escort, she, she likes your show. And I guess I wasn't appreciative enough. And, he's, and, and, he, and he looks at me and he says, this is like literally a minute ago. He says to me, look at you. Look at what you look like. You should be happy any girl is talking to you. That's what he says to me. So he says, how do I respond yeah, to that? Even worse, I quickly verified that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, you're right, there's you're a right. reason why you're good at radio. <laughs> I got that face. No, you're try, trying to say I have a face for radio. That's fine. That's fair. That's fair enough. Well, this guy used to be on TV. He does not yeah. have a face for radio. He was a TV Sports anchor for a while. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, Give I people did, some background. I did see. All right, great. Let's just do the quick elevator pitch, right? I feel like this is like my Tinder or Bumble profile. Exactly, right? uh, I was in television for many, many years. By the way, I would swipe to the right if I saw your picture. Thank You're you. Very good. Thank Lucky you. Man. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank yes, you. I don't like bald head, so I'm going left on you. Uh, so sorry. Uh, well, not that going, there's anything if, wrong with it. If you're it. going left, then you're definitely joining C. Win in the political debate. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> yep, not that side. Um, so actually, I the reason we're here the nexus of why we're here is because of c win yes yeah, lee and i go all the way back to, to florida lee of course you know is uh, i believe went to south florida right i did i went to us in tampa south florida and that's where your actual television career began if i'm not it, if did. I'm not mistaken. it did begin there yes. and then we my old my old producer at a mm-hmm. television station in orlando was his boy yes. wait hold on stop there for a second okay you're yes. telling me lee you mm-hmm. went to college with chris win no 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 okay no, 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 no. i i yeah, I'm just pointing he, out that he, I'm knowledgeable about where Lee went. Yeah, he That's wants all to out. give everyone the full yes. background of what is the Lee best, Goldberg. What is yes. the best strip club in Orlando? Uh, I don't go to strip clubs, uh, but it would be well, Rachel's. Well, by the way, first <laughs> of all, if you're going to mention strip clubs, right, Lee, we would be remiss not to mention, of course, Mons Venus. If we're going to talk about strip clubs. Well, that's clubs in Tampa, though. In, yes, but, but yeah. it, it, you don't even want to mention that Orlando is, yeah, yeah, as far yeah. as like There's a strip club? Wait, hold on. There's a strip club called Rachel's? Yeah, absolutely. Rachel's, too, yes, north and are. south. But yeah, they're not they're not great. Uh, but really good food. But nonetheless, so my old producer at the CBS affiliate in mm-hmm. Orlando was C Win's boy. Yes. And uh, then he moved out here. And then every time I'd come out here, I'd hit him up. Hey, let's hang mm-hmm. out. Whatever. And then I made a launch. I'm in real estate. I've been in real estate for ten years now. But I've been doing radio and TV for the last almost you know, 25 years. And uh, so I've been doing real estate ten years in Orlando. I launched Vegas two years ago. And so uh, now we do Vegas and Orlando and uh, love Vegas. And, uh, and so what's fascinating to too, Lee, right? Uh, you're also one of your partners for your company with with the, with the uh, CGI guys. GCI, also a former GCI uh, television GCI guy. You know what's <laughs> funny? I, I mess it up myself sometimes. No, no, I mess it up myself sometimes. So it's actually no big deal. <laughs> um, yeah, but but my, Gary, you're one of, you're one, of you're one of the people that you started the business with, of course. Yeah. Again, is also a, a former TV person. We're both two former TV sportscasters. Our motto yeah. was: We used to cover the home team. Now we want to be your home team. Mm-hmm. But we still do radio regularly we still do some tv spots regularly but for me it was really important to say i want to identify for me for a guy who has some really good radio background what is the best show in this town and there's no question that i've identified very quickly was the vegas take oh, and then the moment that. and i'm not just saying this right That's and i'm not of, just saying that because c wins here right uh but it's the truth it's and because for me for what i do <laughs> i like to help people and i help people but I, I need a lot of help. I can't help. Yeah, I, you I do. need a lot of, especially my car, <laughs> Lee. You want to buy me a new car? Uh, I can't help uh, with that. If I sell you 20 homes, can you buy me a car? 
Uh, if you get your real estate license legally, yeah. yes, I'll That's, do that. I, but as long as I, no, I will as not. long as I can cheat on the test, I will give you one of these egg McMuffin sandwiches. Did that you I really got for you. I, mean, I, I, should, I brought five egg McMuffins, wow. even if one for Johnny behind the glass. That's but healthy. what I really have for you guys is. What are you? You're opening up a black. Is it champagne? A, is it vibrating? What is champagne. it? What's in there? Wow. Oh, I, I, I brought you guys the cheapest, cheapest, crappiest <laughs> bottle of champagne I could find you because, well, I'm now a sponsor of the show, so I'm a little tapped out. So uh, you, guys, you guys get this, courtesy of my friends over at the Liquor Locker on Maryland, just for Thank the record. Uh, and, I but I don't want that. you to drink it. The whole point of this is for us after the show to go out to the parking lot like we're the Vegas Golden Knights and we just won the Stanley Cup Finals. And we're just going to take this, shake it up, and just start showering it. Maybe we should just shower all over Brian. I think well, that's I have had put it on I Instagram. haven't had a shower in a long time, so that would actually, that so actually this be good is, for me. This is to say congratulations well, nice on a milestone. And, uh, Thank you, Lee. I wish you guys nothing but... Long success. I would, I would prefer I like dinner. It. I would prefer dinner in a movie, but if you want to get me liquored up, that's all. Awesome. I'll, I'll tell you what, Lee. It's yes. perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. We, I want you guys like that. I want to thank you. I want to ask you this to start because we were just talking about the Raiders, okay. and I was saying, gosh, if you own real estate anywhere around this new Raider Stadium that's going to be opening up, I believe in less than a year, I would imagine you're counting your money right now. Well, Tell me, tell me, what do you think yeah, about that? Yeah, listen, the value of the, of the industrial and commercial stuff around there is no question has gone up a little. Uh, there's just a sale for seven buildings for like $51 million. Uh, the, the, Listen, the Raiders coming here is awesome for Vegas. That is not going to have a huge increase in the value of people's properties uh, going up. It's not even going to affect the market. They'll maybe bring, I don't know, 300 jobs. How many of them are going are gonna to be buying homes? Now, what it does do is it gets Vegas out there 16 more times a year on national television. People will be coming. The strip will be busier. It's going to be great. But, yeah. Value's always going up, but there, I think there's the notion of, oh, the Raiders coming is really going to affect real estate, I think, I don't think is fully accurate. What, what about the new headquarters in Henderson where they're going to have, I believe, I think it's like 1,200 jobs. Yeah, so that's awesome, and uh, hopefully those are all new people that are coming here or at least creating the new jobs for people, uh, but there's building and, and homes being sold everywhere right now. So the more and more of these uh, industries and companies that are moving here, which is happening, that's what we want. Uh, but it's still great. Don't get me wrong. Having the Raiders here is phenomenal. Yeah, are you huge. kidding me? Listen, I, I saw two years ago, I said to myself, huh, the NHL's coming here. Huh. The WNBA's coming here. The GCI guys are going to come here. Oh, and the Raiders are coming here. So that's how we put it all together. I like and that's you- an interesting question for you, Lee, is that, uh, you know, of course, coming from a city like Orlando where you spent many years and you had an opportunity to see, you know, the, the impact of a new team coming in there, whether, of course, it was with the MLS team in Orlando. Uh, your thoughts as far as the Golden Knights when they came here to Las Vegas, are you surprised that no, they I- were able to, to, to do this well this quickly? Oh well, to yeah, to come out of the gates, any expansion. Now, I'm not team talking like about this. like I mean, like as far as like the support, right? Oh, in the community. yeah, no, I'm not I, I, surprised. I'm not, not on the ice. I'm talking about like you know uh, how they've been received here not and surprised. how it's worked out as a franchise yeah, in this town. I think regardless if they have that run or not, uh, mm-hmm. everyone's going to love them just exactly the same. At yeah. the time in history, the city needed something, so having yeah. that was really special uh, at that point. But uh, the size of Las Vegas, not having the major league teams, the the B. Yes, over the years, oh, there's gambling. We can't have a team here. Uh, it's something that, that Vegas has needed, and there's no question the support has been amazing. It'll be an awesome for the Raiders. Listen, I'm a Dahl fan. Yeah. Uh, I'm renouncing my rights, and I feel a little dirty of saying I'm going to get behind the Raiders, but i got to get behind the Vegas Raiders. Oh, no it's doubt. happening. There's, it's, there's no question. Yeah. I've actually never lived in a city as an adult with an NFL franchise. I mean, you mentioned Las Vegas. What doesn't happen here in this town? It seems like everything happens here. My now. dating life. There's no dates whatsoever <laughs> for Lee Goldberg in Las that's Vegas. That's true. It's you, true. You, it's you very true. That? Why would you say that? That's I, not true. It's, even it's even I get. I have a date. Oh, well, it's it hasn't happened for me, but uh, I don't know. You're you're. It's because I'm busy working you're, all the time. You're, you're, I can I can attest to this because we both lived in, we, we lived in the same cities. Okay, I I've lived here for upwards of 16 years now. There's a different dynamic about the about 
about uh, as, as far as dating in this town as opposed to cities like Orlando, like Atlanta, like Miami. It's just different. It's it's, uh, it's different, but I also yes, haven't put myself out there either. Approach. Define, hold on, define date. Are you talking about something serious, relationship, or just going out and having a good time? Because you guys must be on crack. It's not it's hard met, to get a date. I have met, I I have met <laughs> no, I, as an eligible bachelor, I have not met the opposite yet in almost two years. When I'm talking about that, Brian, I'm not talking about difficulty getting dates. I'm talking about oh, okay. the mental approach of people here in this town as opposed to other cities that I live. You're overthinking And that we it. lived, and Lee and I lived in, whether no, it be Orlando, I, I, Florida, I think whether I it's like, Tampa. Like I want to hear more of Chris Wynn's dating wisdom at least once a week. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, I'll break it down for you because there's the same dating Lee brought wisdom. It up. Brought there is the a GCI difference. guys. Lee brought it up. There is a difference, okay, in the mentality. I don't know of what it is. I haven't put my finger on In this town, as opposed to other cities Listen, around I'll, the country. I'll give you the best explanation I can. I think I'm a pro when it comes to this stuff. Sadly, <laughs> there's a lot of women in this town and men too that uh, whatever you like, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, that that are in the service industry. Uh, there's a lot of people that are dating that are single, that are bartenders. Not, not all due respect to all these people, but many of them are bartenders, strippers. They work in the club atmosphere. Some of them, not all of them. Some of them don't have college educations. And I feel like many of whom are established are already taken. Now, with that being said, this is a great town to go out and have some fun. Mm. I do feel like you have to catch people when they come here early. If, if you know, But listen... Uh, you can meet a lot of people in this town. It shouldn't be difficult to get a date. Maybe meet the right kind of person for you is another story. This is a very unique town, but I think it is more difficult, maybe multiply it by three than in other town, towns, to meet good quality people. I've always felt that way. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my life is at an all-time low. I'm taking dating advice from <laughs> Brian Shapiro and Chris Wynn. Yes, you are. <laughs> well, on that, and, well, and, and, and Lee, this goes to the nature of the Vegas taken, right, J.D. and Brian? Uh, it's, yes. these, these topics can vary at will, at in will this, on this show. It's will. crazy. I agree. I was just making a funny aside. <laughs> Next thing fine. you know, no, we, we're we, sitting we, on we the will, couch. We will quickly <laughs> transition. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to take a quick break. Joining us in studio, Lee Goldberg from the GCI guys at Realty One Group. Give them a buzz at 702-902-3029. When we come back, I want to get into the realm of, you know, where can you get the best value in Las Vegas yeah. for a beautiful home? So I want to talk a little bit about that. I would imagine he's not going to say uh, in the deep skirts of North Vegas. I mean, that would be a good deal. But there are there's some, some good stuff in North Vegas, right, actually. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about there that. <laughs> there's some good areas, there's some bad areas, and then there's some really bad areas. But there's there's some good areas around this part of town. We'll take a quick break. We're joined by Lee Goldberg. Be back right after this. You're listening to the Vegas Take right here on the all-new 101.5 FM, 720 AM. K Don. All right, welcome back. It is the Vegas Take, Sharp and Shapiro. You might be saying to yourself, wait a second, I used to listen to those guys between 6 and 8 p.m. Well, you're right. But now we're on 9 a.m. to noon. We've expanded the show an hour. We are very happy with this time slot. Uh, we were just talking about dating. I, I'm available tonight between 6 and 8 p.m. It's it's incredible. Joining us in studio, <laughs> besides Chris Wynn, of course, J.D. Sharp, I'm Brian Shapiro. And we got Lee Goldberg in studio from the GCI guys at Realty One Group. Okay, Lee, let's get right down to this. And by the way, congratu congratulations on your penny slot win. You were just telling oh. that a little bit off the air. Uh, Thank you. you lucky bastard. You go yeah. in there and... I you, don't gamble ever. You put in $40 into a machine. 41 in a penny slot machine, in your first pull, you win $360. How the hell does that happen? And then I cashed out. Not only that, I went to the casino host. I said, look, I don't gamble. I literally don't gamble. I'm yep. like, I got to kill some time. I'm at the Encore. And I don't know. I guess I'll play some slots. <laughs> you know, can you direct me? Where should I go? He goes, either this one or that one. And so I pick this one, uh, and I pick the chair. I put the money in. I hit the button, and it just starts going off. So let me just hypothetically, Chris, because you might know a little bit more about this than I do. If, you, yep. if you're traveling on Spring Mountain and you're looking to get a massage for $360, <laughs> that can go a long way, can it? Oh, oh there's at least five or six <laughs> establishments within a within a three-mile radius that you could get uh, <laughs> quality access to to whatever it is that you need. Quality. He just called them a massage parlor on Spring Mountain quality access. <laughs> you put me on the spot about me, you know, making making my observations when it comes to the uh, to the to the local the massage money's industry. Been so I have to you know. reinvest it into real estate, guys. Yes, right. Right. Fair, fair enough. I always appreciate how <laughs> candid Chris Wynn can be. He is anything. so candid on the air. That's it's why we love candid. having him here. Yes. I just Listen, like, an Ashiatsu massage where they're walking on you is amazing. 
Yeah, if I ever went into one of those massages, I would not want a woman to walk on me. That is not what I would ask for. Oh. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Gotcha. Uh, Lee Goldberg from the GCI guys are joining joining us in studio. All right, so let's 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 start with this, okay? You've got some really beautiful areas in Las Vegas. Of course, you got the lakes. You got great great parts of Summerlin, Henderson. Where do you think right now, if you're looking to buy a home, you could get the best value? Perump. Thing. Was this a trivia show? Did I, did I get the no buzzer way. in right? No, are you serious? <laughs> Perump. Oh, oh, if you ask, where's the best value right now? Uh, Perump has some incredible so values right now. Last time I was in Perump, maybe this is why you say that. Last time I was in Perump, and mm-hmm. it's got nothing to do with the bunny ranches. Okay? Yep. I was in Perump. I was at some fairgrounds there. Yep. And then I'm walking in the downtown area where they have like a golden nugget, a few casinos. I saw a man walking a sheep like a oh, dog. Really? His <laughs> pet was a sheep. And the first thing that entered my mind was, oh, boy, what is he doing with that sheep? That, is that wrong? Well, what is think someone that? doing with Yeah, it's wrong. What's yeah. someone doing with their dog if they're just walking a their sheep? dog? That's just weird. You, you <laughs> use a sheep as a pet? Well, maybe it walks on his back. I don't know. Don't That's they right. do that in yoga, like mountain sheep okay. yoga? Okay, I'm going to be honest. I think okay. they do. I'm going to be honest. Then I don't want to deter. To me. I don't want to deter others, but okay. I would not want to live in Pahrump. There's well, not a lot to do there. Listen, here, I, I've been up to Pahrump a few times, and they're putting in a new highway. Uh, it's yeah. actually going to make it 40, 45 minutes to the strip. It's going straight to the chicken ranch, it's, I heard. It's beautiful up there, <laughs> uh, and the value is incredible. For what you get there, it'll cost five, 600 in Summerlin. But let's just talk Vegas Valley, right? Because yep. you, know, you asked the question where it is. There's a lot of great value in in all over. It just all depends on what is your price point and your budget or where you want to be. I've got about $20 on me right yeah. now. What can well, I get for that? You're, you can have my couch and you'll owe me about <laughs> another 30 for the night. Uh, but, you know, listen, there's a lot right now in Northwest, Sky Canyon, Centennial Hills area. Right now, there's some really good value that's happening there. But it's everywhere. Right. It's everywhere. Uh, the, the, the key here is that interest rates are so low right now that it's a really good opportunity to purchase a home. And we know that prices are going up. The good news is what is happening right now is exactly what I predicted two years ago. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm in Vegas, mm-hmm. because I see the future. It's Orlando three years ago. I yeah. see what's happening right now. OK, so you saw an article possibly in the newspaper a week or two ago saying we're the most stable we've been in 20 years. Again, predicted that we are watching it become a buyer's market right in front of our eyes. So it's a great time where it's not last year where it was a frenzy, eight, 10 offers on every home, 10, 20,000 above uh, appraised value. And that's not happening now. Homes are sitting a little bit longer. So for buyers, you can be more selective. You can maybe come in a little bit below. OK, uh, so there's a lot of great opportunity now versus last year. Last year was just it was an aberration as what was happening with all the craziness, which I knew would not last. Let me ask you this, Lee. So safety is a big, big deal in Vegas. And there's a lot of gated communities here. Yep. What is the best gated community value you're going to find in Vegas right now? Well, that's there's no way to answer what is the best gate. For, OK, a few things. One, as a realtor legally, which this is crazy, but legally Mm. we cannot give out any crime statistics. We cannot say that's a good area, that's a bad area, which uh, we we can't. We are not allowed to do that. Well, if you want to buy an area, I would say right around the stratosphere because that's a wonderful area. Well, stratosphere (laughs) area is completely being refurbished. That might not actually be a bad purchase because those values should be going up with everything that's happening in that little corridor right there. That's not a good, that's not a great area though. It's, it's, from a real estate standpoint, it's going to be a good area. If it's refurbished. From a residential Right. Yeah. Well, we're, we're talking we're talking other areas. But here's the thing about a gate. Right. A gate is a misnomer. It, 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 just because as a gate does not mean no, it saves it's going to com- be safe. Right. It saves there. it saves the company that owns the property insurance. It's in, an insurance thing. Right. More than anything else. I, I that I don't know. That's what I, I've heard. Well, maybe, maybe not. But somewhere where there's a human guard will be will will some places will be tougher to get in than other places uh, just because you have the gate is a false sense of security doesn't mean that your home won't get targeted etc cetera, etc cetera. anything and crime can happen anywhere now with that said there are good areas that are not gated that are excellent excellent neighborhoods and communities all over the valley whether it's even on the east side or on the north side or in areas that a lot of people just think oh Summerlin Henderson that's not really fair to all the other areas because there's so many great communities and neighborhoods and areas to Las Vegas you just got to be open and you just can't go with what everyone says oh you must only be in Summerlin or you must only be in Henderson 
other awesome, awesome areas. So that so much to that is about the renaissance, right? It's about certain areas that were, you know, in, in tough situations that are able to basically be reborn, right? That's That really is an aspect. And it's not just, you know, uh, just in Las Vegas. That's country, there are cities around the country. So when you think about this town, Lee, what are those parts of town here in this in this city where there is that uh, that rebirth, that that area where you know it wasn't necessarily a, a very uh, uh, positive area, but now it's 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 moving into that uh, into uh, an aspect well, where it could be. I mean, you could just say over the last twenty years, you could take downtown and and just look back at history right. and just look and see what's happening. So there's two things at play right now. There's areas that are being refurbished mm-hmm. and, and coming back to life, but then there's also growth and expansion all across the valley. We've seen it keep going out wider and wider, but we've also seen some areas where there's open parcels now starting to be developed. And if you go down south to 215, go south Jones area, you'll see, you know, big lots everywhere that are open. And eventually all those will be filled in in one way or another. So it's not necessarily are you seeing, you know, one uh, area that's been uh, that's had some issues over the years and coming back. You're now just seeing everything get filled in at the same time. Now, the thing about Vegas is there's not too many areas that, uh, you know, are that awful that need to come back or you're going to see that sort of renaissance that happens in other bigger, other much bigger cities. So um, there's just a lot of room for growth right now. And when you talk about expansion, you talk about the parts of of the city being the southwest, which is where you can really have some expansion in this town. Yeah, but the northwest is next. That's that's mm-hmm. where it's at. There's huge development happening in the northwest. Lee, I wanted to give you the opportunity before we go because we're up against the clock here. I want you to be able to give out some of your information on how people contact you. What is exactly we do? We got a couple minutes here. Yeah. So real quick, guys, we're the GCI guys. You know, we're regular guys, former sportscaster. We want to help you, and that's what we do. And things that we offer all your listeners, I'm giving regardless a thousand dollars back at closing. All your listeners. But if you work in the hospitality or casino industry, or if you're a hometown hero, veteran, military, police, teacher, nurse, EMT, first responder, I'm giving you two grand back in your hand at closing. I'm also going to give you free use of our moving truck, and I'm also going to give you six free months of ADT security. Wow. But the number one reason why you want me is because I sold 50 million a year sell over 150 homes a year, and we're problem solvers. And when it comes to negotiating, you want us. And when things go bad, inspection and appraisal, you've got people who have been in this situation countless times. We know how to handle it and handle it for you. So really what we're trying to do is we have already have a good footing here in the Valley, and we're trying to expand that and get our message out and tell everyone, listen, we're here to help you. There, it costs you nothing to use me. I'm a free educational resource. If you have questions and you want to expand upon this conversation and you're curious, wait, can I get approved? Or what does it take? What are the steps? Let me teach you. That's what I do. Give out the phone number. 702-902-3029. Call, text. I'm always personally answering 24-7. 702-902-3029. Check me out on social. The GCI guys. And what Lee failed to uh, add was that he's a professional slot machine, a uh, pl- uh, penny slot machine now player. I am. So, yeah, now you are. <laughs> now I am. Listen, well, we could talk about homes playing penny slots. We I'll should. Do that. We should. Well, Lee, thank you so much for coming in. We really do appreciate it. And I know you'll be on again very soon with us. Chris Wynn, always a pleasure, my friend. Maybe you could join us Thursday morning as well. That's going to be incredible. Michael Avenatti in studio with Steve Sanchez, it appears as well. So uh, same time, same place tomorrow, folks, 9 a.m. to noon. Uh, th- uh, usually I'm, I'm used to saying the legend himself, Ken Thompson, is next, but... Sean Hannity is next. Have a great one, everybody.